This is a painting by Henri Matisse. He was well known for using strong, bold colours. He often used colours in unusual ways that artists hadn't done before. He liked to use flat shapes as well, shapes with filled in with colour that would represent objects. Even his portraits are made up of flat shapes next to each other. Did you notice that this video is called Painting with Scissors? Well that's because we're going to look at Matisse's work as an older man. When he was in his 60s, he became quite ill and was confined to his bed and often had to use a wheelchair. So Matisse had to think of a new way to make bold, bright images. He had to reinvent himself really as an artist. And oh wow, what a reinvention. Matisse may have been sick, he may have been getting older, using a wheelchair, stuck in bed, but look at the vibrancy and life and movement in this artwork. What shapes can you recognise here? Does anything look familiar? Any ideas what this might be a collage of? You've probably heard the word organic before, but in art, the word organic tends to mean that it was inspired by nature, something in our natural environment. These shapes are organic. Organic shapes usually have curves, round edges, as opposed to harsh lines and angles and zigzags. So this artwork is called Polynesia of the Sea. And I guess you kind of worked out that it was about the sea, didn't you? It's a memory that Matisse had. Of when he was a young man, he went swimming in Tahiti, surrounded by seaweed and movement from the sea creatures all around him. And it was those memories that inspired him to make these shapes. He didn't look at old photographs, he didn't make shapes from observation, so he didn't look at things before he cut them out, he just remembered them. And just as a painter would collect hundreds of different paintbrushes, different sizes, different shapes, each one specific to a particular mark that that artist wanted to make, well, Matisse collected hundreds of scissors because he used different kinds of scissors for different kinds of cuts. Look really closely at this one. What can you see? What do you notice? Can you see all the little pinpricks? Well, that's because with the help of his assistant, Matisse would cover hit the walls of his studio with his cutout shapes. He wasn't working on canvases any longer. He was working in rooms, transforming whole rooms into artworks. He would position his cutouts on the wall. His assistant would pin them directly onto the wall and Matisse would instruct her exactly where to put each piece. And if it wasn't right, his assistant would be asked to take them down and repin them somewhere else. Matisse was really precise when placing his cutouts. He was making sure that the colours of the cutouts worked together and that the space around each piece was just so. 
and he'd make sure that the composition of the shapes was, was balanced and meaningful, that it was true to his memory that he was trying to communicate. So I have some very organic looking shapes here. I cut them out using a pair of scissors and this is construction paper. So just plain old um, coloured paper that I have in my drawer. But you could use any kind of paper that you find from magazines or even white paper on one sheet of colour. Draw any kind of shape, draw any kind of line. Let's see, um, I'll make a shape like that. The Greek letter L for a mountain. And now you're going, so it's quite angular, it's quite straight and, and angular, quite pointy. Um, let's make it matisse. So we're gonna soften everything and make it look more organic. So just... There. So now let's cut it out. Let's look at our hands when we're cutting. So our thumb is in the top hoop and our third finger is in the bottom hoop and this pointy finger is just wrapped around. We're holding our scissors so our thumb is at the top. And when you're cutting, you really keep your scissors still and you turn the paper as you go. And as you do this, you will be able to see the blade as it sits on the line. And then when you're happy where the, the blade is, that's when you cut. If you go outside of the line, it doesn't really matter. Here we go, look, this is a really tight curve. So I'm going to just turn the paper like that. It really doesn't matter if you don't get the scissors on the line because what you're going to do when it's all cut out is flip it over. Oopsie, I've gone over the line there. Let's see what that all looks like. And you just repeat that until you have enough pieces. These are all variations of that same shape. So some are much taller, some are smaller, some are wider. But all of them have been made into organic shapes. So that means they're very curvy and um, they look like they come from nature. I'm going to play around and position and reposition all my cutouts now until I'm happy with the final result. <laughs> And I'm using a glue stick now to stick all the pieces on, making sure all the lines and pen marks are on the underside. So this is my Matisse inspired collage. Lots of organic shapes, suggestion of things moving around, perhaps birds with maybe plants. I'm not sure I've got some things kind of some some forms here that remind me of birds for some reason so I think it's okay that um, the shapes remind you of something as opposed to look like something it's good to get the viewer thinking about what you've done your turn now have a go if you look really closely at Matisse's work you can see that the sheets of paper that he used were painted the specific colours that he wanted. He didn't use ready coloured paper. Instead, he asked his assistants to paint them for him. I'm remembering how Matisse used to uh, go back to his memories of swimming underwater. And so here I'm going back to my memories of my holidays in Greece in a turquoise blue sea with uh, light uh, glistening on the water and my children playing in the, in the beautiful blue sea. So now it's over to you. It's your turn. 
Think back to a time when you were surrounded by nature. Where were you? Think of your fondest memory. Were you at the beach? Underwater? By a river? Were you in a park? A forest? What was surrounding you? What were the colours you could see most vividly? Are there any shapes that really stick out in your mind? Perhaps you need to look at some photographs. Perhaps you need to have a conversation with your family or whoever you are with. You're going to need a glue stick and some scissors and some papers. You don't have to paint your own papers like I did. You probably don't have the space to do that. So choose the papers that you've got at hand. It could be white paper on black. It could be lots of different colours. Use what you've got. Once you've made your work, I'd like you to save it so that we could bring it back to school when we all return and we can put it into the exhibition. I think it'd be lovely to see all your work. And if you want to, you can send an email to me and um, I can see it beforehand. Good luck with it. Enjoy it. It's so much fun. Uh, it takes as long as it takes. It might take, um, might take you half an hour. It may take, might take you days. Um, give it time. See you soon. Thank you.